ADP 70104 Professional Practice in Higher Education. How do we get our students who are sleepy, not motivated, not ready to become a student who is eager, ready, and motivated to learn? The answer is set induction. Let's have a look at the lesson outcomes. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe what is a set induction, explain the need for a set induction, and incorporate set induction into your lessons. So what is a set induction? Set is a mental state of readiness, and induction brings it on. So set induction means getting learners thinking and ready for the lesson. Another name for set induction is anticipatory set. Now set induction could contain a statement of the learning. Our emphasis, our emphasis is on learning. Relate the objective. Involve the learner in the learning. Okay, or engage the learner in the learning. Why do we need a set induction in our lessons? Let's have a look at Perot, 1982, who identified four purposes of set induction. The first one is focusing attention on what is to be learned by gaining students' interest. Second is Transition from old to new materials. Relate back to previous learning. Third is to provide a structure for the lesson. Telling them, telling your students what is expected. Fourth is to give meaning to a new concept or principle. For instance, by giving examples. Set induction also facilitates sets. For example here, used to summarize information presented in previous lessons. It could also be used to summarize information that will occur. It could also be used to emphasize the cognitive aspects of a new lesson by reviewing or summarizing. Motivating sets is where you catch the student's attention, arouses their curiosity, poses interesting questions, uses dramatic appeal, creates a need or interest, induces an effective or emotional response. Now let's have a look at how do we incorporate set induction into our lessons. First, of all, do not tell your students the title of your lesson. Do not start teaching straight away. Do the common things you do. For example, take down attendance uh, and let students settle down in their seats, etc. etc. Only then you start your set induction. Let's have a look at the set induction in this example. 10th grade biology class. The topic is on hypertension. Let's have a look at how this teacher actually gained her students' interest in her set induction. How many of you have a friend or a family member that has a heart problem or blood condition? And then she also asks, he or she also asks, well, today we are going to learn about hypertension and what causes it. Making healthy lifestyle choices and start starting those habits now can help you in preventing this disease in your future. So as you can see here, the teacher actually used a question, okay, to grasp, to grab her student's attention. And then he or she goes on by telling the students the objective that they're going to learn about hypertension and what causes it. 
and that is very very important for the students to make healthy lifestyle choices okay all in all this is just five minutes so do not go beyond five minutes for your set induction anything is beyond five minutes that is not set induction okay incorporating set induction to your lessons um you need to arouse your students curiosity try to revive some previous knowledge the use of teaching aids would help okay let's have a look at its effectiveness statement of aim here could be also lesson outcomes or learning outcomes and then you write the title link whatever you're going to teach them that day with a previous unit be creative time management is required for such induction not more than five minutes and the overall impression okay let's go through each one of these arousing students curiosity by telling a story presenting facts showing newspaper cuttings share experiences dramatization referring current issue experimentation youtube videos etc 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 revival of previous knowledge okay the knowledge required to understand present content and the knowledge that they learned previously should be linked together for example here to be able to understand adjectives students need to already know nouns use of teaching aids so you could use photographs maps models charts samples newspaper apparatus of experiments diagrams objects videos um, quizzes etc 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 effectiveness how do you know that your set induction is effective ask questions engage your students or involve your students in the set induction and effective class management so if your set induction is five minutes make sure that you do not go beyond five minutes statement of aim after your set induction state the aim or objectives so that the students can link to whatever your set induction is to what they are going to learn on that day so you write the title uh, do this after making a statement of aim show this in PowerPoint slides or you can write it on the whiteboard or you can use a poster uh, use your creativity it's unlimited now linking with unit link between introduction and statement of aim so look at your objectives your lesson objectives or your learning objectives and link that to the introduction creative use your creativity when um, coming up with set induction don't use the same set induction for every single lesson for 14 weeks if you were your student you'd be bored time management for set induction is only five minutes so please do not go beyond five minutes anything beyond five minutes is not a set induction overall impression you as a teacher you have to be confident um, you have to manage your appearance um, and also some communication style which the student likes and also is very clear to the students would make a good overall impression so what okay so if you are teaching think about and prepare carefully for getting your students in the right state of mind to be ready to understand and learn but do remember one thing your students actually came from another class they might have some issues like okay a lot of homework to do um, group work 
um, project which they haven't finished yet and maybe also a test coming up etc uh, etc et so when they get to your class they are not ready they are still thinking about whatever issues that they have in the previous class so how do you get them to pay attention to what you're teaching set induction okay i'll see you in another video bye